Today is the day of the hunt. We must feed our tribe with food. Uh, I do 11 damage. Arrow dives right into the elk's neck, and the thing just like kicks and bucks, and then just falls over Bullish. dead. Three soldiers in your camp. One is over the bodies of his dead wife and child. No! Mira. No, not Mira. Is nowhere to be found. You see, maybe she's still alive. Matilda and Lil Steve are nowhere to be found. He dealt six damage to one of the guards and his closed star on fire. Boom! Head straight off, body in the fire, <laughs> burning. 18 points of damage. Boom! <laughs> Your wife is alive! Oh, thank God. They took Matilda and Steve, Lil Steve, they took them as slaves. D finds a scroll on one of the guards' bodies. It says, there were orders <clears throat> to come and clear the outskirts of the town of savages. The order was sent by Orville, the cleric of Quintonshire. Orville of Quintonshire. Orville of Quintonshire sent these orders directly. What's up, everybody? Tonight we are playing Dungeons and Dragons, and last time we left off with a very traumatizing event for our party. Bran, Darian, and Noki, a uh, barbarian tribe, went out hunting and came back to see their village slaughtered. And Noki's <laughs> family is dead. Darian's family thankfully survived, but Bran's family, his wife and child, are missing. They are on the hunt to find them. Place yourselves at the edge of the forest when you're ready. Okay, right, so let's figure out what we're gonna do. Plan of action. Okay, first off, Brandon's family is missing still, right? Yeah. We should find them. Secondly, we should find the leaders of this town and assassinate them. I can turn myself into a rat and I can go around town and try to find them, or we can talk to animals and try to So as you guys them. are discussing this, something interrupts your conversation. <clears throat> there is a son and his father walking along the edge of the stones here and they walk along the stones, and they're both carrying sacks of potatoes. Potatoes! They're walking along, and the young, young child says, Potatoes! I love potatoes! And the father's like, Well, you know who makes the best potatoes? I'm gonna shoot Your him in the head with an arrow. No, no, no. Oh, I now. love my mom. She makes make the best potatoes. Right I'm so excited for <laughs> potatoes tonight. This evening is going to be the best when mom makes the potatoes. Wait, does that, sound like, does that sound like uh, my son's voice? Oh, no, that does not sound like your son's voice. These look like you farmers. Oh, I hope the savages never come down from the hills. Oh. We'll kill all the savages, son. Oh, yay, father. Welcome when I grow back. up, I want to kill the savages, too. <laughs> <laughs> and well, they walk along. Guys, hey, I whisper to you guys. We'll burn their house down tonight while they're sleeping. I can do it from behind this wall, just throw a little fireball at the corner. Ooh, magic. I like that. I should gather all the poisonous herbs I can find in the woods so that we can start, you know, use poison people if we need to. Sam, I'd like to use my herbalist kit and scour the woods and find some poisons. Starting now. I rolled a 19. Yep, plus. you find thistle root, thorn root, black widow root, green, green Hornet fang root, yeah. root. <laughs> and you find, um... Classic green fang root. Uh, you also find um, yellow, yellow tang root. Same thing. I hear they use that uh, in space. I don't know. Just write them down, and I'll tell you what they do when you hit when they strike their target. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wait till the cover of night. The lights have gone down. The people have moved inside the houses from the farms, and uh, it is it is it is nighttime. It is dark. You still see uh, some candlelight coming from the insides of some of the buildings. Uh, all intents and purposes, it's a great time to do a stealth mission. So right. uh, you guys are now. At the edge of the forest, you are overlooking at a small farming community, and uh, it is your turn. As we're standing in the woods, got my cloak up, I look over at my, my, my two fellow tribesmen. This how how do you want to go about this? I like the idea of burning that, that town down. I'd like to sneak up there and look in the windows, just making sure, because I don't know where my wife and kid are right now. Yeah. So I'm a little concerned about just randomly burning buildings down. That's mm -hmm. very smart. I'm a pretty stealthy guy. If you'd want to get it plus, for me. I got a plus five in my stealth. 
I, res I respect that if you want to do that for me because I'm kind of a big I, lumbering ox. I can I can go and check. We're gonna we're gonna yeah. stealth up to the wall. Everyone start rolling stealth checks. Uh, f fifteen. Uh, uh, eighteen for me. Uh, Twenty-three. All right, move yourselves First. into position. You can barely peek over it on your tippy toes. Um, and what you see is you see an old man smoking a pipe outside of a farmhouse on the other side there. And there's candlelight coming from within that house. It's quiet. Guys, if you give me about 15 minutes, I will transform into a rat. I will run through here, over the bridge, into town, scope out what kind of buildings we're looking at, and come back and give us a more full picture. It's a long ways to run as a rat. Yeah. Are you me... sure you don't want to just check out inside the house? Unless your wife is in there, it really doesn't matter. Like, we have to find the people responsible first for that. Because they're the ones who are going to give us the most issues, and they're the ones that deserve to die first. Right, let's, let's not forget the dying words of the old man of our own uh, village elder. He said that my son was close, and my wife was further away. Or one was close, and the other one was farther away. And so, we're already Oh, here. who's something moving over there? The old man kind of perks up, starts standing your I'm going to draw an arrow, and I'm going to shoot him in the face. Uh, for even, uh, 20. Oh. That's a hit. <laughs> I'm a hit. Eight damage to his face. <laughs> An arrow flies over the over the stone, and the squinting old deaf man gets <laughs> shot in the face with an arrow. <laughs> Just dies. Straight up dies. All right. Be ready in case anybody else comes out. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stealth up to the window, and then I'm gonna straight up Legolas. Up into the, roll up stealth. Into roll, the roll another stealth. Okay. Roll another stealth. Twenty three. All good. All right. All clear. I go, Guys, up to, I, I go up to the window, and I start to peer inside the window. I'm going to do a perception check. Uh, real quick, I'm going to turn into a rat. I'm going to do my thing. Okay. Actually, no. I'm a cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're a cat. Nico. Um, Nico I got a cat for you. Nico you goes, get a cat. Yeah. A black, oh, you're a cat. I'm a black cat. No, you're this, well, this cat. It doesn't matter. You're this cat. You're okay. specifically this cat now. So okay. put that on the game board. Your character is disappearing. I don't know he's back. Okay. <laughs> All right, roll me a stealth check right now. Roll me a stealth check. Eight plus whatever cats can get. All right, so uh, I mean, it's just a cat. Everyone thinks you're a cat. So, uh, and that's it, that's it. All right, so, Bran, anything for you? I've got D's back. I'm gonna roll a perception check to see if I see anything coming, you know, around the sides of the house, anything in the area. Cool, cool. Busting that out with a, uh, nice. with a 19, I believe. Nope, 21. Uh, you 21. hear a small, you hear, you hear a door open over on this side of the field here, and, what happens is there's like a young boy who comes out and scampers out, and uh, not the same young boy as earlier. He just goes over to take a, he takes, starts peeing on the tree. All right, I do a perception check and I look inside the window of the house I'm leaning up against. I got my cloak and I like put myself against the wall. Okay. I got a, mm, I got rolled a one. All right, so Darian, Darian, walks up to the window and is about to peer inside when he doesn't realize that his, his bow is actually sticking over his back a little bit and goes like this onto the window and hits the glass. Mind. What you see is just one person perk up from their bed. And it is the young boy. And he's like, oh, hello. He starts waving at you. And then I, I go, Okay. It's like we're burning your house tonight. Okay, and then uh, <laughs> what else? What do I? What else do I see in the house? Uh, you see, see three other beds. And there's other people in the beds. Yeah, you just there's just figures, shapes. Uh, Brand, your turn. Yes, I'll sneak right over to the corner of the fence here to get a better uh, better point of view. Right here. And can I see that far to just? Any uh, identity of the can, guy, little can, boy? You can see this. This is just a this is a small little farmer boy. He's like, he's under, okay, he not my not up, my son. Not your son. And he goes back inside the house. I'm gonna take his body, freaking throw him on my back, just, and just drag him over and just freaking toss him over this thing. All good. Nice. All good. He's out of range. All right, All right cool. Sam, what do I see from the street? And then so I hop on over. the street at night. Actually, now I'm over in the street. Now. Right up to you. We got a cat on the town. Nico's a cat on the town. Oops. You see a guard. Beating a slave, having him lift heavy crates for him in the corner near the, the ruins of the old church. You also see uh, what looks to be like a busy tavern with people drinking and drinking and drinking. And you see also the merchant 
who sold you your not so uh, savory wares. He's there, kind of just smoking his pipe. Uh, looks like he's going about his business. He does. He does. He's one of the first. That's what this kid is like. Wow. <laughs> All right. So back wow. to Dee's turn. The, <clears throat> the child that you saw opens the door and he slinks outside. And he's in his nightgown, and he's like, "Oh, are you still there?" <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh. I go, do what? I'm not gonna kill the kid. I knew you were real. I knew you were real the whole time. <laughs> I go, I, I knew go, there was a man who lived in the woods. And I'm like trying not to laugh. <laughs> and I like, I like, we like stay down. Oh, Grandpa, did you see him? Grand Grandpa, are you still there? And he looks to where, he looks to where the old man was. Grandpa? <gasps> he's like listening. He's rolling a perception check directly against your stealth. Both of you, Bran. Okay, we're just like. Uh, I got 19. a 14. He rolls a two and farts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, well, I guess I'll have to wake up again tomorrow night. And he, <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> and, he, and, and he goes back inside his house. Your family wasn't in there, but there's three other people. Are there. you 100% sure? I'm sure they weren't in there. Okay, I trust you. Okay, they weren't in there, but let's check the other house, okay? Let's yeah, just go right. search it. I'm gonna run up to about here. I'm gonna do perception check and check on the house and see what I can see. If I see lights and stuff in the windows. Uh, I got a uh, 18. You do see lights on. It's a much smaller house. No little like storage areas or anything. It's just a very basic little house like mm -hmm. this. I'm going to and stealth my way up and hop over this fence. Got it, you did it. Okay, I'm back. He goes back. Poof, I'm back to a, a druid now. Okay. And you made it back here, Nico? Yeah, I made it back. Okay. I'm gonna fill in uh, Bran as to what I saw in the place. Cool. All the people, all that kind of stuff. Cool. I'm gonna peer inside. Perception check. Peek in. <clears throat> God dang it. Uh, seven. Perception. Uh, basically, uh, there's a little fog on the windows. It's kind of blurry. Yeah. You can see there's two lights on. There's, pro there's probably people inside here. I can't see anybody specifically? No. I run back over, and I come up to you guys, and I go, Hey, what's up? I go, I feel like you had everything else I saw. Okay, cool. I'm like, that's crazy. You can turn into a cat. I, it always trips me out. Like, I can't, I can't tell who's in there. I, I'm not sure if your family's in there or not. I didn't get a good enough look. Okay. All right, I'm going to go up to that house, and I'm going to take a look at it. Do it. I'm going to sell up right. to the door with Bran. All right, go All right, for let's it. go. Natty, 20. 20. <clears throat> I got put a... Yourself to, just put, I'm, I'm putting you there. <clears throat> okay, boom. Uh, which side of the door do you want to be on? Like. I want to be by that window because I'm going to peek in first. One last check, you know? Okay. You're looking right through. It's a little fuzzy. You can see uh, there's two people sleeping in there. And they're not my son? Uh, nope. You do not see your son. You got a 20. I would not lie. Yeah, I'm going to turn back. I'm going to give Nico, you know that. that. All right, cool. uh, Noki, the thumbs up. Cool. Do we want to just go in there and murder them? We could do it all quiet. Like, yeah, we could just kick that door in. Yeah, I don't want any enemies that are back with all the bridge. These aren't enemies, they're children. We can deal with the town. Let's just leave these people. Man. No. D. The children will die, too. They all die. <laughs> we agreed. D, you've they never been a die. father, so you don't know what it's like to they have your kids They murdered my child, and I'll take but... theirs. Okay, I will I'll stand watch out my here. My heart is, made, is wrapped in thorns right now, all right? All right, I'm going to stand here. <laughs> Anyone who comes out of that door that isn't you, I'll put them down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to barbarian it up. Let's kick this door in. Yeah. Perception check the door. Uh, Unlocked. Okay. Unlocked? Uh, I'm going to just lean on it a little bit and see if it creaks. I don't know what it is. Stealth check. Here's a stealth check. Can I not use the same roll I just did? This <laughs> <laughs> is really crazy. You rolled a two. It creaks. They're asleep. It's not a one. I mean, they're asleep. You have to really screw up to wake up sleeping persons. This is unveiled now. Nico's opened the door. And inside, he sees the following. He sees a sleeping woman and a sleeping child and a large chest of treasure. It's a good thing that uh, Darian isn't seeing this because he probably tried to talk us out of killing this, this woman and child, but I think we should move in there and both simultaneously do the dirty. Yep. Nico, you want the, you want so the woman or the child? So they right. go inside? You guys want to go inside? You pick. You first? Okay. I'll take the child. Okay, I'll take the one. You're going inside. He's a future man, at least. Yeah. <laughs> right, roll me in one more stealth check. Roll, roll right stealth now. check. Boom. It is a two. Four. Four total. Six. 
Six total. All right, you guys both move right up to these sleeping people. And they, since they are sleeping, they have a very large penalty against seeing you guys. You guys happen to roll very low though, okay? These are, I'm going to roll their opposing rolls. This is the mother. The mother opens her eyes and sees you. And she takes a big gasp of breath about to scream. <gasps> Nico's, Nico's over the mother, by the way. I immediately reach my hand out and cover her mouth. All right, strength check. You're trying to grapple her. You're trying to, you're trying to keep her from screaming. Roll, you'll roll against her strength right now, quick. Uh, 16. Total? Yeah. She beats you. She gets her hand off. He's like, ah! Damn. And I go, ah! I'm like, God damn it. I'm Chop her head off. All right, roll, roll a strike, roll a hit. Just, uh, 15. Hits. Damage, roll damage. Uh, I roll a six. She dies. You slice her neck and she starts bleeding out on the bed. However, simultaneously, son, simultaneously, simultaneously, simultaneously. I'm, I see this is all going on. Nico's messing it up. I get my boy blade ready. Yep. I'm going after his son. I roll a 21. Hit. Hit. The son's eyes with, open like this. This is a, with a great sword. Tell, by tell the way. me the amount of damage you roll. It's a great sword. I roll, uh, I hit him with uh, eight damage. This is what you see. See, this is, this is the son. <laughs> and then he, right as he opens his eyes, your blade literally just slices his face in two and just blood all over the Man, face. my heart hurts, but you know what? It's and, gonna become and, stone. and they're both dead, and that scream was only about like, you know, like a half second of screaming. You reacted pretty quickly. I pulled I'd... two 20 sided die out of my pocket, and I said, Nico, let's roll, see who gets first pick on the treasure. Oh, yep. Not 20. 20. All right, Dude, Brandon get gets pick. it first. All right, uh, Brandon, you find a potion of invisibility. Boom, baby. You also find a potion. That's crazy these, these like, little peasants have these. Yeah, well, it's a freaking heirloom, dude. They would never use it. Yeah, it's just, it's just. <laughs> <You're never laughs> <drinking. laughs> it's totally youngish. Never drink the potion of invisibility. Yeah, that was pretty dark, guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty dark. That was the darkest thing I've ever seen happen in a D&D game. <laughs> just so you know. But just it's cool. Out, I'm town. Playing the character. Yeah, how'd it go? Uh, who was in there? Not perfect, not poorly. I heard a scream. Uh, that was the wife. I was afraid it was one of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Come we on. We got another house to hit here All tonight. Right. This is, the night is young. The night is young and so are All our right. targets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move up to this house. There's a door in the back of the house. Door in the back? Go to the back. I'm moving around the back of there. I'm uh... uh 13 stealth, Sam, up to the other side of the house. All right. Uh... You're with me, Nico? <clears throat> yep. Okay, Nico and I. Yep. I'm gonna walk up and put my hand on the doorknob and slowly turn it to see if I can like get it to open. Still to, to check, still check. Uh, Super silent, unlocked. It opens. Okay, I slip inside. All right, I'm gonna, let's try to open our door the same I slowly way. slip yeah, inside. Yeah, let's try to open the same way. I still have checked the door, uh, 20 also. 17 plus three. All right. So we're all inside the house. Whip out the emergency pieces, because this shit's getting serious. This is, this is what the house looks like, and that's the house that you're in. Excellent. All right, guys, what are you going to do? I'm going to point silently point to the uncle. I motion my head towards the guy who's sleeping right next the to me. The father? Yeah, the father. And, that's the and I stand next to the woman and child and kind of shrug, and then point at the woman, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ready my action. As I do it, I'm gonna put my hand over the person's mouth and I'm gonna stab right, the sword cool. straight through the door. Everybody, throat. roll initiative! Surprise! Roll initiative. Oh, I rolled it. I have 17. The uncle's been awake the whole time. Uh, nine. 17, nine, and. Remember how long ago we killed the old man out in front of this house? Nico's yeah. Got four. This is what happens. Everyone's writing their actions. The father. Roll the natural 20! He heard everyone the whole time. He has an entire freaking sword under his pillow. And he wakes up to see everyone there and starts striking at the first person he sees, which is Darian. He jumps out of his bed with his sword and strikes at you right now. Does a 16 hit? Uh, 16 is my armor class. Oh! That means technically uh, it's always player's favor. So he runs up and says, Done! Seven says, ah, With that, everyone in the building wakes up. Sorry, you failed. You messed up. Everyone shoots awake. Okay. Everyone else is now awake, but prone. We should have shut the doors. You guys didn't shut your door? Nope. I shut my door. Did you? Um, yeah. Did you tell Sam you shut it? My door shut. Why would he leave it open? 
I mean, that's just like Ranger 101. <laughs> I mean, it's politeness 101, really. I did. It's All right, so think about the it. next turn is the uncle who wakes up upon hearing the father wake up. And technically, he's got a whip for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, he's got a whip, Sleeper. and he looks straight at uh, Noki, and he's like, oh my god, so does, he, does he stand up? He strikes from his bed, which means he has disadvantage on his attack roll. Yeah. And you have advantage against him. Disadvantage on a whip from the oh, bed. Oh, wow, I rolled two fours. Anyways, the point is, he goes like, and whip, tries to whip you. He just whips and he the whips, ceiling. He whips the whip, and with the rest of his turn, he tries to stand up, drawing an opportunity attack from you. Uh, does a 14 hit him? Yep. Okay. Five points of damage. Five points of damage. Nico slashes the O, and it is Brand's turn. I'm going to move over to the uncle, and I am going to attack him. I'm attacking him, swinging with a uh, with a 13. Hits. Hits. I do. Nine. 13 damage to him. 13 wow. damage, damn. Oh my god, you just run up and stack him through the wall and <laughs> blood. He just topples over, guts and stuff everywhere. He looks like a pretty beastly man. He looks like the kind of guy who beats people to death for, for a living. <laughs> it averages out. There he is. Uh, since I'm close to range, I'm going to take both s my swords and I'm going to stab him with both my swords. Nice. 2d6 and then add my monitor afterwards and then dual wielding. I do eight damage. Just eight damage. Ah, he screams and starts bleeding all over the place. Uh, it's no key's turn. All right, I'm gonna try to finish off with Dad. I uh, is a seven hit. Uh, no, <laughs> no. So Nico runs up and like swings above his head. <laughs> the father is like looking at you two and doesn't know who to hit because he hates both of your guts. You're savages. He goes for Darian. He takes his sword and he's like, yes, die, savage! Yeah. And he tries to stab you. I just rolling ass. Does a seven hit? No. Uh, <laughs> nothing happens. Eagle. It's oh, uncle's armor. turn. Uh, uncle's like this. Oh, I'm dead. It's not my turn. Anyways, uh, <laughs> basically, the mother and the child go like, oh, and they get up. They stand up. They spend their time getting up. And they're standing up and they're screaming in the corner. Like, <laughs> it's your turn, Brandon. <laughs> I'll just swing my big sword. I'll swing my big sword at the father. I'm pretty confident I can finish him off right now. Okay, you yeah, gotta, you gotta, okay, so you're gonna move up to him? Yeah, sure, I'll move up to okay. the father. This is my, this is my role here, I'm a big, oh. big sword. Hit with a uh, 21. Hit. And do 14 damage to him. 14 damage. God damn. You literally, you turn the sword sideways, you don't even hit him with the blade, and you just kind of like smack him so hard that his just like face caves in and he falls across the floor dead. You instantly kill him. More teeth for my necklace. Yes, more teeth for your necklace. <laughs> Does killing one family justify another family being killed? I don't think we ever stopped to think about that. Are we doing to them what they just did to us? That's pretty jacked up. Anyways, in all seriousness, <laughs> you guys are barbarians. Uh, you guys don't ask deep questions like this, okay? So get okay. over yourselves. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> allow me to do this. Yeah, I'll allow you to do whatever. I'm you gonna want. go to I'll run up to each of them since they're standing at each other. I'm gonna take one sword and stab it in each of their stomachs. Oh come on, you can't do that. Well, I'm, I'm gonna split my dual attack so they only. We take... can do a dual attack like that. Well, dual wielding the way it works is you roll the you roll twice the uh, number of damage dice and then you add your modifier afterwards. Okay. So I'll just. Roll them both separately. One goes to one person, one goes to another person. Okay, go for it. Dang. Okay. And I'll just I'll nullify my modifier, so to make it fair. Yeah. This is the most, this is the most like a last thing you've done yet. I run up. I run All right, roll. roll so, did you roll an attack yet? No, I'm gonna roll an attack. This okay. is for the mom. Uh, it's 19. Hit. And then this, the other one's for the son. Uh, 10. Hit. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this one's for the mom. Five damage to the mom. This one is for the kid. I do one damage to the kid. All right, so you run up to both of them and you're like, you stab the mom through the shoulder. And she's like, ah! and she starts screaming. And you stab the little kid through, you nick his arm. And if your swords dig deep into the wall, and the kid's like, ah, 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 the man from my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to kill me. The mother dies, and the little child looks next to him and sees his mother, like, 
and die on your sword, and he starts screaming. And he's the one left alive in the entire hut. It's this kid who just, you stab. He's like, <laughs> Can I just put him out of misery? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, so dude. horrible. <laughs> this is so horrifying. Or well, we could just teach him a lesson. This is so horrifying. No, 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 no. I can't have a kid on my... I rolled, na I rolled a one. Wait. Are you gonna come kill him? Okay. He runs over and goes, Shut that kid up! Yep, 15. And I hit him for 11 damage. You cut his head off. He dies. Oh my god, that's over. <laughs> I have a feeling we'll be hearing that sound again in our nightmares, Dean. Roll a oh. perception check. Time to move the bridge, guys. One. Seven. I got, uh, 23. Puppy? <gasps> is, is that my son? I look, I, 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 I hear this. It's like this. Puppy? Where's, which direction is it from? Puppy? Where is it? Puppy. Take a look at the actual scale model of the building and guess where he is. Oh, there's a back shed. There's a little Puppy. back shed on the building. Oh. And I just, I run right over to the back of there and I'm just pretty much, I'm just kicking that door right in All right, right away. Well, I need someone to move that shed. Puppy's not leaning against the door. It's Lil, look! It's Lil Steve! That's Lil Steve! That is Lil Steve! He's, he's there, he's so excited, he's crying. He's coming, oh, Puppy, they, they wanted me to work on their farm and make them grow all their potatoes for them. <laughs> oh, did they, did they purchase you? Is that what happened? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad. Don't worry. You don't they need to bought, worry, son. We put them. We put. They won't be seeing any more sunrises. They, they bought me for ten gold pieces. Uh, ten gold pieces. Oh, don't let them beat me anymore. Oh, oh it's all over. Don't oh, you worry. Don't you let just them beat me. Look, I got scars. Oh, he's got scars. From After the whip, a few hours from the, from the whip already, and we killed that. Don't worry. We killed the man with the whip. You're gonna be all right. It's gonna oh, be all fine they now. They said I'd never see you again. They said I'd die in here. They're, oh. they're liars. Your, your, your father oh. always come back for you. Don't you worry. You can go back to my tree. I'm cool with that. Do we, can we send him back to the tree? Yeah, little Steve, near my uh, tree. Hey, he knows the way. Okay. Yeah, he was playing in the woods. He was playing in the woods. He's discovered it before. Actually, every, everyone knows where your tree is. Yeah, your, <laughs> your tree is not that secret. Everybody knows. Like, everyone like, knows. Everyone, we, knows. everyone knows talks about that tree, okay? On, you, I, you brought you, it up once as a joke to the whole tribe. The town elder was like, I know exactly where that is, everyone. <laughs> so, secret hideout. I'll go back to the tree. Is anyone else alive from the town or the village? Or the Mira, tribe? Mira's there. She'll take care of you. Oh, she is one of my favorites. Uh, except, what about. Where's mommy? Yeah. <laughs> mommy, mommy's oh. next, next on the agenda, son. Don't you worry. I don't know where she went. Mom. When's the last time you saw What's her? What's an agenda? <laughs> oh. I saw her on, on the, on the, on the cart, on, on the, the wagon. She All was right. on the wagon. She went. Good, into good the intel, town. Steve. Oh. Guys, I just want to congratulate you. You did find a family member, one of Brandon's, or Brand's family members, and that's really, really fantastic. Dungeons and Dragons. Tonight I will be the Dungeon Master, and I will be running Brandon, Nico, and Dee through another epic campaign of mine. Kill this him. <laughs> oh man, Toby's in the way. Goodbye, Brandon. <laughs>